this is eight ball. Eight ball is a black leopard. Um, actually, if the sun shines on him, you can still see his spots. And uh, eight ball kind of had a rough beginning. He was privately owned. A guy kept him chained up in a pool hall. He still has scars on his neck from being chained up. He's been declawed, which declaw can uh, declaw a cat. You're taking off the first joint of their toe. And it's really detrimental to these big guys because they don't have the support they need. And as they get older, their feet can become crippled. They can get arthritis in their joints from walking oddly on their feet. Uh, so he's had a couple obstacles to overcome. Then when the private owner couldn't keep him anymore, he was given to a drive through safari park where he was kept on exhibit there. And although he didn't have a bad life there, um, it wasn't his permanent home. The safari place got shut down. USDA did shut them down. We got a call that all the cats needed to be rescued. And that's when the real story begins is because we don't know what we're getting into when we rescue a cat. This cat may be completely healthy, go for years with no problems, but a lot of times we will see uh, some health problems, especially if a facility is being closed down. They're usually being closed down because they didn't have the money to actually care for the animals properly, so they may not have been fed the best diet. That's where donations come in. If we didn't have the donations coming in, we couldn't rescue this animal. We couldn't provide it a good quality of life. Um, these guys have to eat top quality meats. They get a combination of beef and chicken. They have to have bones to keep their teeth clean. They have to be vaccinated regularly. They have to be dewormed. They have to have special vitamins. And uh, so there's a whole lot in just going into caring for one of these animals. They can also live 13, 20 years. So it's a long time commitment when we get them. This guy here is about 14 years old and he has had some health issues. Uh, he definitely has problems with his feet, which we're watching. We have to monitor his weight really well so he doesn't get too heavy so his feet don't have any problems. And he's had um, a mysterious illness that we had a couple years ago and we actually thought we were going to lose him and that required 24 hour care, constant medication, fluids, total uh, 24 hour watch on this guy. And um, so far he's doing good, but you never know what's around the corner because these guys, um, because of how they were previously taken care of, that can lead to a lot of problems later on in life. A lot of people ask us, you know, what can they do to help these guys? Because a lot of people have a passion for these animals and they don't want to see them kept in, you know, bad conditions. And so when they can help us rescue, they want to do that. So a lot of people feel like they have to give thousands of dollars at a time. They don't realize that they're 20, 25, 100 dollars at a time adds up and it's, it's what means life or death for these animals. If I don't have that 25 or 100 dollars coming in from several individuals, then I can't give them the vet care that they need. I can't give them the medications that they need. So when an individual just looks at their small donation and thinks it doesn't help, they don't realize the big picture of what they're doing. They're actually saving this animal's life. And we are so thankful for every dollar that comes in because every dollar adds up and it keeps us going and it helps us get out there and rescue more animals in need. And it helps us with all the illnesses that may come up in this animal's lifetime. And that's what we have to look for and that's what we have to prepare prepare for. Um, so we really appreciate everybody's support and donations.